What is going on, all my most valuable poets, and welcome back to my channel. You see this setup here, so that means we're actually going to do a reaction video to one of my older videos. And if you looked at the title uh, for this video, it's going to be about our goals. So we're going to look at 2022's goals, and we're going to see how many of them I achieved in 2023. And then I might express some of the things I'm going to be thinking about and ruminating for 2023. Goal setting is important. I don't want people to think that goal setting is frou-frou, right? Uh, because my wife and I goal set a lot. And actually what we've come to understand is it doesn't really matter. Well, rewind, whoop, 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 whoop. it does matter if you reach your goals or not. But I think what matters even more than reaching your goals are the intentions you're putting in place for those goals, right? And realizing that sometimes that one goal that you finally actually achieve, you've been thinking about that goal for a couple of years. So even when you're setting up your own achievements, if you don't reach the achievements one year, you're getting closer to your dreams each time that you go, right? So make sure that you keep considering that as you go on. Um, it is not the destination, it is the journey. That, that you actually go on. So I'm interested to see what I actually achieved, right? Um, and what I'm continuing to work on. So I'll do the same thing where I'm on my technology here. I'll be watching the video and I'll pop the video up somewhere around here somewhere. And then I'll come in and I'll interject uh, to see how that goes. So here we go, let's start the video. Ooh, you see that? Like a poet. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Well, my MVPs and welcome back to my channel, Most Valuable Poets. Thank you for another year on YouTube. And as we're prepping for another year, we're getting closer to our New Year's resolution. I know everyone's going to start making their New Year's resolution goals. I think it's important to have goals for the self, for that person. And I also think it's important to have our arts goals, our writing goals. So quickly, I'm going to tell you what some of my goals are for the year of 2022. I'm also going to make note, everyone, that it's different every year, right? So like some years I'm going to have a, a time where I'm going to be publishing a lot. Other years I'm going to have times where I'm kind of going inside and practicing on my writing. So like last year in the year of 2021, wow, it's already last year. Uh, that was a year where I was just working on my own art. So I was writing books, I was doing collaborations with other folks, and I was working on my workshops. In 2022, you're going to see that I'm going to talk about publishing a bit more. So let's start with publishing first. I am hoping that I could publish at least 10 different poems, either in print or online this year. I don't know if I published 10 poems this year. Let's check. I don't think I published 10 poems this year because that wasn't my objective, but it might have just happened on chance. Wow, I actually published 11 poems and I have three-ish that are forthcoming. So that's actually funny. Uh, I didn't publish in too many spaces this year, but somehow the places that did pick me up and the ones I'm thinking about specifically are Big Other and A Dozen Nothings, shout out to those two uh, magazines. They published multiple pieces of mine. So that's how I got past 10. Really interesting how I got that one this year. Well, last year like to do it online because I feel like everyone on YouTube and everyone in the wider community could see it if it is online. If it's in print, there's a possibility that less people are going to read it because less people are reading print magazines, so they're usually just niche to several people. But if I'm publishing online, then a wide group of people can actually see it. And I've been writing a lot. When you're writing, it's important to get that work out there, so I want folks to see my writing. So I hope to publish 10 poems this year. Within that, I'm also looking at some top tier places. I might have mentioned it before, uh, there are places that are kind of like top tier, mid tier, and kind of indie publishers, which could still kind of qualify for upper tier, depending on where they fall within the literary world. So I do want to see if I could publish in a couple of those higher tier places. Those are places Look at that hair! Is like the Academy of American Poets, uh, the Poetry Foundation, Poetry Daily, The New Yorker, that's a long shot. It was really crazy that I got published in poets.org and uh, Poetry Daily. 
in 2022, which is awesome. I'm definitely not topping that this year because I haven't really been submitting and stuff that much, but man, those things, those things were so awesome, right? Especially poets.org. I actually got a lot of emails and opportunities from that. Um, I thought it was gonna happen more often after that, but it was kind of like a 15 minutes of fame thing. I was getting a couple of things for like two or three months, a couple of radio things. I got like NPR one time and then bloop, it was gone. For those of you submitting, you do know it takes some time, sometimes six to eight months, even longer. And I've already had to query some places because they're kind of backlogged with things going on just with the state of the world. So if you made a submission and it's been sitting for a long period of time, after six to eight months, you might want to send a message and say, hey, how's my submission going? For publishing, I also want to expand my portfolio and I don't only want to be publishing poetry anymore. Um, I do already publish poetry book reviews as well, but I want to start venturing into different forms of writing also. So recently in December, I took a creative nonfiction class, uh, basically to kind of learn how to write lyric essays, which is funny. At Rutgers, I actually taught lyric essays and I, and I taught hybrid forms, but I never ventured into them. So for the... F I still haven't finished a creative nonfiction piece yet first time it's taken me what like about five five and a half years as a writer a professional writer to tell myself listen would be to have more readings i haven't been having enough had a couple of decent readings if anyone is interested in me i actually had a reading in november so like any readings that we're doing through 2022 i i built it around this book you know even even if i wasn't consciously doing it if i got invited to something i tried to make it an opportunity and i would get a couple of sales so even if your book has been out for a couple of years already which it's approaching i think year th two year two um it's a good idea to consider just bringing it out and revitalizing it anyway because um people do sometimes forget about your book but don't let them forget about your book Thank you so much, Get Fresh Books. That was a cool achievement for 2022. That's placed in 2022, and I'm drafting my third book, Nork in My Eyes, which is an extension of every first and fifth. Bobby P. Joan was so cool. Uh, the, the mythological figure, too. But not that. I'm actually talking about the book itself because it got finalists for a couple things. You know, it got an Omnidon uh, chat book contest finalist choice. Uh, it was a finalist for the Andres Montoya Prize, which is a huge, huge, huge competition for like Latin writers. Man, like. It was just bound to happen. So that's the other thing too. Like if you're getting long listed or you're a finalist or a semi-finalist for something, that book's going to strike gold soon. Just keep it up because people are looking at it. Like for instance, all of my art stuff on YouTube. I'm really hoping to hit 8,000 followers this year, 2022 on YouTube. Help me get there and you could get 8,000 followers. My goal this year, actually, I'm going to just sort of start saying my goals now. So the video isn't that long. I want to reach 10K this year. Share this video with someone, most valuable poet. Share this video with your friends. Tell your classes about this video. I do want to reach 10K. I want more people. Um, I also want to start doing cooler things on this channel. And if I'm starting to see the channel actually have a pop, a bit more of a pop, I'm definitely going to start uh, investing more into having this back as a free resource again. One thing I talked about a lot in some of my other videos, it's so much fun to work with you all one-on-one, -on -one, with Patreon, in workshops, through consultations. And sometimes I forget how fun it is to just film videos to a camera. So please share this with someone. Let's, let's get to 10K this year. My collaborations have been jazz based. I'm thinking about even exploring different avenues, you know, maybe hip hop, maybe rock, other things like that. I didn't have any performances with anything else other than jazz this year but i did record a, a spoken word piece on a gospel track that's going to be featured on the jazz album um that should be coming out sometime in 2023 so that's pretty exciting i'll let you all know about that when it comes out too that was an insane insane experience where i had to go to this guy that had a record studio in house and i had to go to the basement and i had to record and take a couple takes and like just work off of the musicians and stuff it was really really awesome super super cool Honestly, I have not touched the harmonica 
since that video. But I accidentally didn't press record on the rest of the video, so I'm gonna film the rest of it out here, which leads me to my next New Year's resolution, and that's being consistent on YouTube. As you can see, there are moments where I am super consistent on YouTube, where I'm posting every- oh, The consistency on YouTube. This year, this year of 2023 is going to be the year I'm gonna be consistent on YouTube. If not, I will eat this book. Okay, so there was a lot of cool things there. Um, talking about goals for this year, you already heard the one about YouTube. Um, on Instagram, I wanna post more consistently on there. I actually, uh, <laughs> funny enough, I actually uh, taught a class at a, a university through Zoom this year. I was a guest lecturer and it was on marketing, right? And I was talking about consistency and I was talking about how to build your own brand, but I felt a little hypocritical in some ways because I had to kind of cover myself by saying, I don't post on Instagram as often as I should. I'm not posting on YouTube as often as I should. My golden like my golden ticket though was the fact that patreon i'm consistent on and that is kind of like social media beyond behind a paywall like my youtube memberships i was consistent on and that's youtube behind the paywall right so i was looking at those means of making money and those were ways that i was able to really uh, stay consistent but it is a return 2023 to a lot of the free content right um because i know that people might want to work with me but you don't have the financial means to. So I still want to give back in a way. And I think being consistent on YouTube is a good way. I also want to post on Instagram four times a month because I tell this baseline to all of the authors and artists that work with me. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, those are like what what they used to call electronic press kits, right? Those are like resumes that, that are the most consistent. If anyone wants you to do a reading, if anyone wants to hire you for a job, right? They're gonna look at your social media. So think about some of those things as resumes. Okay, so th that's kind of like everything for YouTube and social media. One other thing I'm going to do this year, as I alluded to with the book, I am gonna try to finish uh, a draft for new work in my eyes, right? And actually my doc, <laughs> I'll pop it up right here, it says new work in my eyes as a play on words. So I'm going to see if that manifests into a book. It is going to be a book. I'm just going to see uh, when it's going to come to pass. So this year is a year for health. For myself you know I, I, I want to exercise more and become more healthy mind body and spirit um, and I also want to finish that book and by doing this I'm gonna be putting myself on a schedule so you know schedules are super important y'all um, I know I have that video of the ox and and the cat and you got to choose who you are but it's good to work a little bit of structure into your day too especially if you want to be super